Welcome back, fellow milk drinkers, to yet another Monday Milk Review. Today, we're finally looking at the Oak Berry. Now, this is one of Oak's plus range, meaning it has 30 grams protein, but it also has a very high likelihood of being incredibly gluggy. I don't know what it is with this range, but their texture is just incredibly thick. I know some people like it, I myself don't really prefer it. When this first came out, I found it to be a really quiet release. No one was really talking about it. And I think it's because the packaging is so unassuming, you would think it was a strawberry flavor and thus not realize it's a completely new drink. This only came out maybe a month or two ago and I really haven't seen anyone talk about it. One of the greatest mysteries surrounding it is what is oak berry. This is supposed to be a mixture of blueberry, raspberry, and strawberry, but whether or not we're going to be able to tell those flavors apart is going to be judged soon. I just want to comment on the really nice accents of silver. Let's give it a shake first. Of course, one of the really nice things about the oak plus range is this really rigid bottle. So let's pour it in now. Ooh, yep, yeah, that's thick. That is very, very thick. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, that's um, not exactly the flavor I expected. All of the flavors kind of become a little bit mixed in and I can't really smell the difference between the flavors. When I'm slowing down and concentrating, I'm pretty sure I can get hints of the strawberry, but the blueberry and raspberry just don't really have identifiable smells. When smelling from the glass, I think I think I got the very, very faintest hint of blueberry. I'm still not really detecting a raspberry. So we're going to have to find out whether or not those are present in the flavor. Let's try that now. That is a very interesting mix. It doesn't really feel very berry inspired. I can get hints of it, but just from the first reception, I wouldn't really know if I could totally call that berry. Although one thing that I really want to quickly add in, the texture is really good. This is not gluggy at all. It looked super thick, but I'm actually finding this to be a really nice balance. Of course, it is a pretty delicate line that you have to walk. You do want some thickness and creaminess to be present, but just too much of it becomes a little overwhelming. And I think they've found a small range, which is perfectly acceptable in my books. I think the one fatal flaw of this flavor though, is that it's so hard to identify. The individual berries don't really seem to have much presence whatsoever. When I stop to think about the flavor, I can't really pull any of the berries apart. It does have a slightly reminiscent artificial berry flavor, but I don't think I could call it true to the actual inspiration. As a high protein drink, I actually think this is quite nice. A lot of flavors do suffer when they try and angle it from a health perspective, but oak berry really pulls it off. I don't know if I would recommend it over non-dietary focused drinks, but in terms of the dietary focus ones, this is pretty good. I would say this is in the top percentile, maybe the second bracket. I did forget to mention earlier, this is a 500 milliliter bottle and it's considered to be one serving. If you're interested in those nutritional informations, I'll put them on screen for you now. Overall, I think the oak berries is pleasant. I don't think I can give it a very hearty, enthusiastic recommendation. I can only give it a soft, it's not bad. You might like this if you prefer the fruity milks. But in terms of other flavors that come to mind, I would say that this is a competitor to the real ice strawberry, and this definitely doesn't even come close to touching it. I do want to give it special consideration though, because it is a health focused drink, unlike the real ice strawberry. Where this doesn't really win out in flavor, I'm sure it wins out in over protein. So I was just going over the numbers, and I really can't recommend the Norco Mighty Cool high enough. It is amazing for you and it also tastes so damn good it's really worth checking out so with everything said i think i'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. i want to place it at about 6 for the flavor but i'm going to bump it just one more up for the health benefits. In terms of an experienced milk, I think you can overlook this flavor. The sweetness is a pretty good level. I don't think you're going to get too overwhelmed by the bottom of the bottle, but keep in mind that if you don't like the sweet flavors, you probably won't like this one too much. I don't think I could call this very good, but I will call it very okay. <laughs> that about wraps us up for this week's episode of the Monday Milk Review. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing. New videos come out every Monday, so be sure to check back in. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next week in the Monday Milk Review. Bye-bye.